I've been delaying doing this market update video because of the Bank of Canada meeting that happened actually today, June 7th. So I wanted to see before making any comments or predictions what was gonna happen because I know many of you are gonna be wondering with the interest rate hike that just happened, is now the time to hold off? Is now the time to buy, sell, what's going on? So in this video, we're gonna dive into my predictions on the market moving forward into the summer and a review of the crazy month we've had in May. Roll the intro. Do you wanna be plugged into the Kitchener-Waterloo real estate market? The key to success is staying informed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. So overall, May was absolute madness. We've had tons of properties uh, on, on our listing side and also that we've been working with for buyers go into multiple offers, sell for way more than expected. Things are becoming a lot more competitive. We're seeing a huge influx in listings hit the market and there's a lot of activity gobbling those up and inventory is still at a relative historic low, which we'll dive into the specifics in a bit. So let's roll on to prices. A total of 788 residential homes were sold in May through the MLS system in Waterloo region, which is down almost 11% compared to May of 2022. Total residential sales in May included 463 detached homes, 67 semi-detached homes, 133 townhouses, and 123 condominium units. So that gives us a good overview. Let's take a look at price. The average sale price for all residential properties in the Kitchener-Waterloo area was just under $822,000. Down 5.6% compared to May of last year, but actually up 3.1% compared to last month. The average sale price of a detached home was just over $964,000. Down 2.8% compared to May of last year, but actually up 4.2% compared to last month. The average sale price for a semi was just under $727,000. Up 1.1% compared to May of last year and actually up almost 6% compared to last month. So things are heating up for semis. The average sale price for townhomes was just under $698,000. Down 2.4% compared to May of last year and up 5% compared to last month. So townhomes are going strong. The average sale price for an apartment style condo was just under $483,000. Down almost 12% compared to May of last year, but up 1.4% compared to last month. Now, wrapping up with volume. There were 1,264 new listings added to the MLS system in KW and area last month, which is down almost 33% compared to May of last year. There were 900 homes available for sale in an active status at the end of May, a decrease of almost 25% compared to May of last year and 41% below the previous 10 year average of 1,524 listings for May. The number of months of inventory was 1.7, still a historic low. As a refresher, the number of months of inventory reflects how long it would take to sell off the current inventory at the current rate of sales. The average number of days to sell was 15 compared to 11 in May of last year. So still relatively quick, a couple weeks on the market on average. Okay, so May was a little bit crazy. Now let's chat about the interest rate hike and what's happening with that. How is that gonna impact the market if you're a buyer or if you're a seller? The Bank of Canada, today is June 7th, increased their rate by 25 basis points or 0.25%. People might think that this is a massive deal. Obviously it's not the best scenario, but it's not really gonna impact the market as much as you may think, at least not immediately. Most buyers that are in the market currently right now have pre-approvals already set. So they're probably gonna be approved and locked in at, their, uh, at the old rate for anywhere from like 30 to like 120 days. So about a month to four months from now which they would have to purchase a property and close on that property within that time window to have the actual rate honored. Now, if we actually look at how much does this 0.25% rate increase people's monthly payments, it's not that significant. If we look at the average price of a home in KW last month, if we do the math with 20% down, 
you're only gonna see about a $100 increase in your monthly mortgage payment based on those parameters. So $822,000 purchase price with 20% down, not a significant difference. Uh, it's a few coffees you can save at Starbucks or don't buy a couple of those avocado toasts. Uh, so not a huge impact. Most of this uh, impact with the interest rate hikes is psychological. When the Bank of Canada makes changes, there's a bit of fear in the market. What's gonna happen? People are, are pretty uncertain. And when people are uncertain or scared, they tend to pull back and just sit and wait and see what happens. So I don't think it'll make a huge impact. I think there's still very low inventory. It's a very competitive scenario now for buyers. It is still a seller's market. So what does this all mean if you're a buyer or if you're a seller? Sellers, if you're on the fence right now about putting your home up on the market, or maybe you're thinking later in the fall, now may be a good time. So we've got great weather, there's low inventory, there's a lot of demand in the market. Buyers are losing out in multiple offers or having to dial back their wants and needs and compromise. So that's a great position to be at as a seller in this market. So that might be something to consider. Buyers on the other hand, you folks right now, if you're locked in, now's the time obviously to find a place and lock in at that rate if this is a long-term position for you. And by long term, I mean three to five years. If you're just thinking about buying something for a year, then you know it is what it is. The interest rates will likely creep up right now and they probably will delay increasing any rates for at least a few months, but we'll see. Nobody really knows and there's not really 100% certainty on that. Things seem to change and new statistics and data come out that will influence all of the head honchos at the Bank of Canada and what they do in their decision-making process. So if you're in the market now, you're probably struggling a little bit. Homes are getting scooped up off the market very quickly. There's lots of multiple offers, depending on which price point as well. Some price points and some properties are sitting on the market. They're not selling. They could be 10% overpriced. They might not have the best presentation or marketing. The seller might not be too motivated to, to adjust their price. So there's lots of factors influencing that. But in general, the average days on market here is 15 days. So that's things are turning over quite quickly. So that's all for this month, folks. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Shoot me a DM, shoot me an email. We'll chat with you guys next month. Have a great June. Take care. Peace out.